Hey guys, so I have been getting a lot of questions about what exactly is wrong with my neck and how I did it. So I figured I'm just going to do it this way and then everybody can just watch it or not watch it. So in November at the end, um, I woke up seven hours late from work. I took the interstate at 100 miles per hour. Okay, good and took the interstate at 100 miles per hour when I got to the off ramp that I needed. The show has well, three, but I needed the second one. Um, when I got to it, I was still going 90 miles per hour. I lost control of my car, went to the green um, mileage sign, says so Greenfield, and Joy when it's full airport, my car ripped that completely out of the ground, flew into my car, through my, broke my rear um, windshield, um, it should have probably flew, kept going, and decapitated me, um, especially with the speed that I was going, so I was very lucky, um, my car went with like spun, um, I landed perfectly in the field, perfectly even, like there's a fence, when you go down the hill, there's a fence, my car was perfectly lined up against it, perfectly even too, so I was definitely being watched, um, so I ended up getting, I had a rope flash really bad, um, and then I noticed, um, well, before I noticed that I had symptoms and stuff like that, I, when I drove away, because I was able to drive away from the scene, um, I had to go get gas, and I went to work, um, which, because I was late, so I wanted to go there, and I couldn't get a hold of anybody, so I showed up there, and the that H um, HR guy, um, the only thing he asked me was how my car was. He didn't bother to ask me how I was or anything like that, just how my car was. Well, it's a mess. So, um, but anyway, so I didn't go to the, hos the hospital emergent, like, immediately after or anything like that. Um, so, um, I went, so, like, I went straight home after, work. like, I left work and checked in with them and stuff. I was only there for, like, 10 minutes, but I went home, you know, relaxed, you know, calmed down and stuff. Um, and then I started noticing, you know, the whiplash symptoms, and then my back and stuff, the lumbar, especially, I noticed when it's, it was exactly, like, where I sat my seat. I have, like, a huge knot over here, so I, and I don't know, I can't remember if I hit my window or not. Um, there's parts of it, it's just a blur, like, I still think about it every day, especially when I pass that, um, exit, um, and then, you know, I noticed, like, my neck pain was, like, it was excruciating, that was my back, um, so, Two weeks later, um, because I was having a lot of bad headaches right after the wreck for probably up to two weeks, I was kind of missing some work here and there because of the headaches and like leaving early and things like that because they were so bad, um, which I suffered from migraines anyways, um, but these were just like worse. So when I finally went to the emergency room, I explained that I was in a wreck, explained everything, um, and then the doctor literally came in, looked at my ears, looked, I think he looked down my throat, he felt around my stomach, and told me to put ice on it. I was literally coffee, in, at the ER for 15 Dr. minutes. Dan Powell, she's prosecuting the Harding rape case. Didn't do X-rays, didn't do an MRI, friend, nothing. Just told me to put ice on it and sent me on my way. So when I finally got insurance, I went to my doctor, and she did finally order x-rays, and the x-ray showed that I had fractures in my C-spine and fractures in my lumbar. When I finally had my appointment to meet with the orthopedic surgeon, um, my insurance had lapsed because they said,
I was not a U.S. citizen, but I am. So time went by and I didn't have insurance um, because the job that I was working, um, because I ended up getting fired from the job two weeks later. And then, um, the, um, so I was unemployed for a while, so I didn't get, I didn't have insurance for those times. And then, um, when I started Covance, um, I didn't have insurance opportunity, and then finally I got, um, like in January, I got mono, and so I was able to get on a hip then, but anyways, that's another story. So, six months later, got, you know... No, I think I think I just read up that time frame. But anyways, so time goes by. I don't have insurance, and the job that I have, you have to be um, full time hired on through the company and not through the temp agency to get insurance through them. I didn't have that. Um, so like there's nothing I can do about it, and then eventually I just forgot about it, like my back pain. And the neck and my headaches and stuff, I just blew those off because I didn't even think anything of it, really. And I had read that fractures fix themselves. So, in regards to my back, it still will act up a lot, but it's nothing like compared to what my neck is. Um, but, so, with all the migraines that I was having at that time, um, I went to a neurologist, we did multiple studies, I did a migraine study, where I took a trial drug, and nothing helped with my migraines, I had a brain, brain scan, nothing. So, in April, like, nothing, we could find nothing for my headache. So, in April, I started training. In April 2017, I started training for pro wrestling at WCWO and loved it. Um, my second day of wrestling, I got suplexed. That was a little rough. Um, so that probably, like, that probably wasn't the best thing. Um, and then after some back bumps and stuff, I ended up getting a concussion. So um, that took me to the neurologist because of headaches and things like that. Um, and the, that's when I finally got the brain scan. And um, when I was finally cleared in July towards the end, I got back in. You know, we started training. And then we started doing body slams, which became my absolute favorite besides monkey flips. And, you know, I understand that. we started working with me doing a bunch of now, moves that, like, Maurice does, because, because that's, she's, like, one of the ones, she's books, just, I just love Maurice mm -hmm. and everything she does, and then, um, some things that Steph McMahon did, and then, like, the body slams, it was, I don't know. We went like through the that. line of guys that Even were body slamming me. Like, I loved it. Like, I love being body slammed. It was just something. I don't know. Like, it slammed me down and I immediately get up. I wouldn't. And I was landing fine. But it was probably a couple of days after that practice that I couldn't even take my head to my neck or my, my like, head to my shoulder. Like, I woke up, and it was so bad. Um, and then, the, like, there were days where I just couldn't move my neck at all. It felt like I was, like, paralyzed. And this just continued on, and the pain just kept going. So, I was supposed to have my debut match September 21st. Didn't get to have it because of my neck. Um, you know, I... Um, Finally, um, I got new insurance, so then, um, I went to my doctor, and, you know, I told her about all these pains that I'm having in my neck, um, you know, and we did an x-ray, and it showed that I had a disc bulge on C4 and C5 on my left side. Everything's on my left side, which is the side that I wrecked my car on. Um, 
to do a casual description. I had a disc creation on C5, C6 on the side. I had, I have anterolithesis, I can't pronounce it very well, spondylosis, which my physical therapy um, guy told me that that, that one is basically just arthritis. Um, so that's great. I already have arthritis setting in my neck. I mean, great. Um, and then um, I have a, my yeah, neck has a reverse curvature, yeah. so it curves in if the opposite way round, that everybody heel. else's if neck does. Back, um, happens, from what I read on line, like this can cause like major problems, but it's mild for me, so I guess it's not that bad because nobody else seems to be worried about that reverse curvature. I am because I just see all these things on my X-ray and MRI. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's horrible. Um, but um, my disc herniation and the disc bulge is on a nerve. So I think that's what's causing like all the shaky videos that you guys that I post all the time. And I know you guys probably are tired of seeing those and you guys don't care, but I do them so then I have source of those. Um, you know, down the line if I need them for a reference, you know. Or something um but because of that and like i i've not well, um i left my job like in august uh, mainly because like my depression maybe things like that maybe we should try again. and it was around the time that i hurt my neck really maybe bad um but then you know i haven't really worked since then yeah, i haven't worked since then because yeah, yeah, I calling. can't, there's not what much I can do with it? my left arm without getting Before that shaking that bad. Time. The video I just posted but was I'm just tonight after me holding my great nephew for like 10 minutes. And he weighs 16 pounds. Well, 14 technically. So if that. Like, if I'm just, I, it just blows my mind that my arm and stuff shakes like that. Um, so they don't know if, like, removing the disc when we, because we're, the surgery is the ACDF. And so that's going to remove the disc bulge and the disc herniation. So that will relieve the nerve. I did have an epidural steroid injection. Um, I was not numb for that, so let me just tell you that that is people as shit. Um, I thought I didn't get any relief from that, but um, I can tell now that I had a little bit of relief. I did have a little bit of relief for that, because these past couple days, like, it must be, it must have completely worn off, because I have been in the world of pain. Um, using like Bengay, not Bengay, I don't use that stuff, but like, um, I even use Tiger Balm, um, um, Arnica Relief stuff, this like, um, prescription thing, um, my Gabapentin, and I even take like the Diclofenac that I don't like taking, I'm taking anything that I can that I have that they've given me to help with this to get me through until my surgery on the six because it is ridiculous and painful. But anyways, um, so that surgery is gonna it's supposed to help, um, but with the arm pain and everything that I'm posting about and stuff, it literally like you guys saw me stretching my arm. Hurts. Like, I'll get numb my arm. My legs have kind of started to get numb a little bit. Um, my sciatica will act up every now and then. And that's, it's always on my left side. And that's the interoral thesis, um, they said. Um, and then, um, it like, it's just like this, the trapezius or whatever, muscle or whatever. It's just saying super swollen on this side. Um, and that little bump that you have on your neck, it's just so inflamed. Like, it, mine sticks out so bad. 
Uh, but I only weigh 112 pounds anyway, so I feel like it would I mean, it would be stick out anyways, but this one's like extra. But it literally will go, like the pain just radiates between my shoulder blades. And I don't know what else to do. Like I've tried like ice bags and those heat wraps that you can get that are like Thermicare or whatever, whatever those are. Pain patches, everything. I try them, I got them. I'm using them, Tiger Bomb, Thermesh, and all that. I'm trying everything. Um, but yeah, the surgery is, ho is hopefully going to help with that. It's a 50 50 shot, most likely. Um, it might help, it might not. Probably won't help with the shaking, they said. Um, but it could. Um, I did have an EMG, and it revealed I don't have chronic nerve damage, um, so that's good. But, yeah, that's how I got here. So, any questions, just leave it below.